Here we are, and it's a it's a familiar opponent. Um, it's an opponent that we know well. Um, we were talking about last week. We didn't know him well at all. We know him really well now. So we need to show up and perform. That was that was uh, not our typical performance the other day. I thought Ariel Hearn didn't play nearly as well as she is capable. Uh, I thought our post players didn't give us the contributions either on the boards or on the block. When we went back and watched the videotape, we got the ball in all the right places and, and we just didn't simply put the ball in the basket. And it wasn't really about shooting. It was about taking the challenge um, to challenge a kid on the block and, and put the ball in. And then defensively, we made some adjustments. They were the, the adjustments that we made were how we wanted to play it the last time. And now we've just tried to tidy things up. But at the end of the day, we just got to play. We look at ourselves in the mirror and realize that we just didn't play very well. Um, down the stretch. I, I think we played okay against Tulsa, but not great. Um, we're not, you know, we don't even reference the UConn game at this point, but we didn't play well against SMU. So in, in this league, if you don't play well, you go home with a loss. So we've uh, we got to recover, I think, still emotionally. We're still a little bit emotionally wounded, but come tomorrow, we got to be well because it's, it's not about X's and O's tomorrow. It's about who wants to win. But I think last year we had about 4,000. They're going to come. They're basketball fans. They're, there's going to be an atmosphere in there, and, and they cheer good basketball plays. So um, it's not going to be an empty environment. It's going to be a tournament environment. And like I said, it's, it's time for us to step up and play. Bye.